Forget learning your ABCs. One California school district is focusing on HCL. That would be the health care law. We're learning the Los Angeles Unified School District will spend nearly one million in taxpayer dollars training students to promote the health care law. And mom, Gina Loudon's got a real problem with that. By the way, we did reach out to the school district for a statement. The district declined to comment. Gina, mom, welcome. Uh, have I got Thank this you. right? Happy to be with you. Is the school district going to spend money to train youngsters, I believe it's teens, who will then go home and persuade their parents that Obamacare is a good thing or how to enroll in it? Have I got it right? Hey, nothing like a free sales force from our children. Let's call this what it is, Stuart. This is brainwashing. We've seen this before in other countries, China, Cambodia, North Korea, Germany. We've seen this. We know this. But this is even more a more sinister uh, kind of brainwashing because what this is is telling kids, hey, you know something your parents don't know. You need to go home and teach your parents what they don't know. That is how to get more uh, free government uh, programs from, so, from taxpayers. Is it not legit, though, to, I don't know about using school children, teenagers, paid for by the school mm -hmm. district, I don't know about that mm -hmm. side of it. Is it not legitimate, though, to put in front of parents how to use Obamacare, for example, how to enroll in these exchanges? That's legit, isn't it? No, this is absolutely, first of all, you have to understand that this money is being extorted from the taxpayers. This is not something that the taxpayers had any say in. Secondly, this is a very unpopular program. Obamacare, the approval ratings on it are horrible. The approval ratings on this administration are horrible. This is about the advancement of a statist agenda. Let's not forget that for one second and how dare they use our children for it, Stuart. Okay, let me, let me come back at you again. Suppose that the youngster in the school speaks very, very good English but the parents don't. Isn't this a pretty good way of reaching parents who do not speak English and informing them about these health care exchanges? No? You know, if they have all this money in California that they can afford these million dollar programs to teach our children, to teach their parents, how about they send a letter, Stuart? How, how conventional is that? You know, really, do they need to indoctrinate our children? As a mom and as an educator, I can tell you that I absolutely know this. When you teach a child to teach someone else and then you teach them to go and sell something, they learn it like they've learned nothing else. This is pure and simple indoctrination. That's the purpose of this. And to tell these children that your children your your parents don't get this you need to go home and teach your parents and what about this Stuart? what if the child says no what if the child refuses do they get a bad grade in health class how's this going to work exactly that's a very good question gina and i don't have an answer to that one gina loudon everyone <laughs> thank you very much indeed thank you Stuart.